You've just done an experiment and you've got some results in a table in Google Docs that you've been working on. You want to make a graph like we would in class that's hand drawn. And we're going to try and do that with a Google Sheets. So how do we do that? First, we need to take our data and copy it into Google Sheets. From here, it doesn't matter that it's not very pretty. We can select the data that we want and we can insert a chart. Now, at the moment, Google has guessed that we want a line chart from this, but really what we want is a scatter chart. And from this, we can customize the chart to look more like a graph that we would do in class. Firstly, if we go into the series data, uh, we can choose a different shape. So normally when we draw a graph, we use an X and we'd normally just make it black. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger so they're easier to see and put 10 picks, uh, uh, 10 pixels. Uh, also, I do want the line of best fit, which here is called the trend line. So I press line of best fit. In this case, it is a linear line of best fit. There are other ones that we can choose, but uh, linear is appropriate for this data. Then in the horizontal axis, uh, we can see that we it goes from 0, 10, 20, 30, and that's really not what we want. Well, from our data, we can see the force goes from 0 to 30. So we want to go from 0 to 30. If our data was 0 to 31, we might choose uh, to go from 0 to 35, because when we draw graphs, we always want to have uh, a, no a normal number of numbers for each unit. And we don't usually just do a little bit extra. If we're going to do a just like one, one or two small box boxes extra, then we do a whole uh, other box. OK, well, um, we want to do the same on the vertical axis. So on the vertical axis, we go from 0 to 13.1. And this is a good example of what I was just saying. So we want to go perhaps from 0 to 14 or 15, or 15 would uh, probably make sort of more sense um, on a graphing piece of paper if we were using that. OK, but it still doesn't really look like a graph that we would do in class. So what we need to do is just so we go to the grid lines and ticks. And here we want to uh, make the step 5. And the step for the minor axis, uh, 1. And when we do that, you can see we're starting to look a little bit more like a, a piece of graphing paper that we would use. On the, the horizontal axis, we're going to do the same. So we're going to have a step of 5 and the, the st another step of 1. And when we do that, you can see we're really beginning to look much more like a piece of graphing paper that we would use in school. Finally, we will uh, put some major ticks on. So if I click major ticks here, you can see that they cross the lines and that they're effectively not, not really just like we would normally do. So let's change it from across into just outside. And then if we go back into the vertical axis, uh, we can do the same. We can choose major ticks and make them outside. And then there you have it. That's how you can draw a pretty graph.